Before you make a recording, I want to share some basic advice about audio quality. Nothing will make people skip your song faster than if it sounds like two dogs fighting over a chew toy recorded on a windy day with a potato. First, let's talk about why audio quality is important. To get to this point, you've put in a lot of effort. You've spent years learning a skill, working at music, until you've finally got something you're proud of to share with the world. This is your moment. Don't ruin it with a poor recording. Your recording should reflect your song. It should sound good. This recording is how your entire audience will experience your music. It reflects not only your song, but your level as a musician and the level at which your audience will view you. The majority of people want to listen to something that sounds like it's professional and already popular. They don't want to go out on a limb. That recording of your band that you made with your iPhone at the last rehearsal, that's good for your reference, but no one else will enjoy listening to it. You might be using this recording as promotional material in order to get gigs and to get people to come along to those gigs. It should be the best recording you can make with the resources you have. Here's what your recording absolutely must be before anyone will listen to it. Your recording should be clear. Any unintentional distortion will distract from the music. Unintentional distortion is created by overloading the recording device with sound. Hear that distorted quality? It's fuzzy and crackly and it makes it hard to determine what's actually being said. At a very basic level, make sure your recording level stays within the green on the audio meter if you have one. Red means it has peaked and you are adding distortion to your recording. Distortion can be used intentionally in many awesome and interesting ways, but it must be intentional. Your recording should be balanced. The listener should be able to hear every element, especially lead melodic instruments like vocals and guitar. Imagine putting all of that work into recording and not being able to hear it in the final track. Each instrument or element should have its own space in the final representation of your recording, which we call the mix. You want to achieve a balanced mix. Your recording should be in time. You should at least be attempting to play at a constant tempo and keep all instruments in time with each other. Nothing screams amateur louder than an unintentionally drifting tempo. Your music can have tempo changes, but again, they should be intentional. Use a metronome, practice with it, record to it. If your music has tempo changes, automate the metronome so your playing is consistent with each change. Your recording should be free of background noise. Unless you want sirens and street noise, close your window when you record. The listener wants to focus on your song, not what's on TV in the next room. This is largely about finding the right environment to record and making it work for you. Some recordings sound fantastic with an atmospheric ambience, but it needs to be, and here's that word again, intentional. Record in a controlled environment and your recording will sound controlled and focused. In the end, what it comes down to is this. Be intentional with your recording and you're onto a good thing. There's a consensus among sound engineers that whatever goes in is what comes out, meaning that although modern technology can improve a recording, it can't fix one entirely. Make sure what gets recorded sounds good and your song will have the best chance of sounding good. A rough recording is okay as long as you stick to the points that we've talked about. People understand that you're not a superstar yet with a big recording studio budget. If it's clear, balanced, in time, focused, and the song is good, people will listen. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you'd like the next video to be about in the comments. Hit subscribe and head to the Musicians Map Facebook group where we can talk about your musical journey. Also, head to musiciansmap.org and check out my ebook and my audiobook about growing success in music. Check out my podcast, as well as a whole lot more free content and information.